Okay, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, it's me, Nezarak. We're back with another episode of Nezus R.E. Today we are talking about the hypocrisy of... Not really the left. The left has some, has some hypocrisy, but fuck you guys on the right, man, are fucking insane, okay? So let's talk about the Young Turks. And the reason why I'm talking about the Young Turks right now is because... I'm kind of sick of hearing this shit about he named his network. Cenk Uyghur named his net network after something that caused the, the Armenian genocide. Um, the people who are throwing those stones give zero fucks and deny the Jewish Holocaust happened. And we saw the fucking bodies. Okay? Like, let's, let's really... Let's line shit back for a second before we... Uh, allow freaking bullshit to propagate um, in, in the comment section or anywhere else. The Young Turks, a name, versus, okay, people actively denying that the Jewish Holocaust even happened. Those are two different groups of people, okay? One is like the alt-right, and the other one is pretty much like the Young Turks, dude. I mean, they have, they have this, they have this, uh, this history. They named them after a certain group of people that stopped tyranny and everything else, but <laughs> the side effect of that was the Armenian genocide, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Jake denies that, and he did deny it in the past. I'm not saying that he's never denied it. Yeah, he did deny it in the past. But he wrote a whole fucking paper coming out saying, yeah, yeah, that should happen. It happened, bro. And once you say, yeah, that should happen, guess what? Pretty much anybody who was on your side and agreeing with you is no longer on your side. So, I mean, you... <sighs> Let me, let me break it down this way for you guys, okay? Jenk's mother and father are both from Turkey, okay? I think his dad might be from Syria. No, that's Anna's dad. But, I mean, they're both from Turkey. Jenk grew up in fucking Turkey, dude. Do you really think that he didn't have any conversations with his parents about denying or, or uh, acknowledging that the, gen the genocide in Turkey took place against the Armenians? Like, do you really think that people from the Turkish, who, who grew up under the Turkish government, who have been routinely brainwashed and saying, oh, well, that didn't happen, that's a lie, this, that, and the other. Like, how, how Americans, remember you fucking Americans who used to say, oh, well, we didn't kill off all the natives, they were killing each other, blah, blah, blah. No, you guys went out there and you, you routinely fucking slaughtered fucking men, women, and children, okay? And... It happened for a long time. Everybody thinks that shit... Everybody thinks slavery and the Native American genocide uh, stopped uh, in the 1800s. That shit literally stopped in like the 1960s in the civil, after the Civil Rights Movement, okay? The Civil Rights Movement wasn't just a win for fucking black people, okay? It wasn't. It was a win for everyone who wasn't white. Every non-white, non... Okay, I can't even say non-heterosexual, because freaking they didn't even defend gay people back then. So it's like... For us to really try to have an equal society, a society where everyone everyone can propagate, everyone can chase their dreams at least, or have the opportunity, this is this is what the people on the right don't understand. There is a severe lack of opportunity in this country to actually chase your dreams. The amount of risk is fucking insurmountable, okay? Now that's why I still believe in the free market, why I still believe in business, why I still believe in capitalism. I don't believe in this corporate capitalism bullshit where they're like, oh, let's just take advantage of advantage of as many people as we can, but at the same time, dude, if you work hard, you deserve to be rewarded for it, and that's not how this country works right now, okay, it really isn't, if you work hard, you don't get paid for it, <laughs> like, you, you get, you get the breadcrumbs, that's how this country works right now, you know, but anyway, back to the Young Turks, okay, um, so this is, this is what I want to pitch to you people who are always bitching about the Young Turks, always bitching about Jank. Always bitching about Anna Kasparian. And, oh, they're funded by Saudi Arabia. Okay, so let's talk about something real quick. Um, Saudi, the Saudi Arabian king owns the 45th floor of Trump Tower. Okay, and I just saw some some freaking idiot with a Trump. Not even a Trump. He had a a, a a Blue Lives Matter pretty much flag saying, "Oh, well, Hillary Clinton was tied to Saudi Arabia." Tr the Saudi Arabian king owns an entire floor on Donald Trump's building. You think they're not friends? You think he's not paying Donald Trump $200,000, $300,000 a year, a month, a week, whatever to fucking own that building just to be able to go whenever he wants? That place is probably either empty or full of his side bitches for Christ's sake. I mean, come the fuck on, you guys. 
And and you, you yeah. I've gotten to a point now to where when I argue with someone on the left, I automatic or not the left, someone on the right, I automatically assume that they're fucking retarded. Okay? Like right out the gate. I automatically assume that A you don't understand what the scientific scientific method is and how it works. You think a theory is an idea when it's actually something that's been tested and tested in a way, in a fashion that can be replicated by somebody else, and they can like regularly and consistently achieve the same result. That's a theory, okay? Now let's talk about what a fact is, okay? So here's my old cell phone, okay? This is what a fact is. If I let go of this cell phone. You guys know, just like I know, that it's going to fall, okay? So we're going to conduct an experiment, okay, to see if this, if this cell phone indeed falls. So if I let it go, oh my god, it fell. If I do it again, oh my god, it fell, okay? Now that sounds stupid, and some of you guys are like, you know, oh, well, of course it's going to fall, because gravity exists, you fucking moron, but take, take a breath for a second, take a breather, and... I want you guys to think about it. How hard is it for you to grab a cell phone, the LG fucking, uh, what is this thing? LG NV2, okay? How hard is it for you to find one of these in the garbage? Because they're old now, okay? These, I paid $189 for this thing when it first came out. And then my mom, my grandma, and my cousin all got one for like 50 bucks. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I bought this phone. Which I, which is okay, because the quality of video and uh, audio is really good. This is a pretty decent phone, so I don't get too upset with this one. But uh, I paid a hundred bucks for this thing, hundred and seventy-eight out the door. That week, one of my friends came to school and was like, "My grandpa got the same phone for fifty bucks." I'm gonna start waiting a week before I pull the trigger on a phone. That's what I'm gonna start doing. But anyway, um, this experiment. That we just conducted, if I were to document everything down and said I had an LG V2, blah blah blah, I'll sit in a chair, told you guys all of the all of the, the, the criteria needed for the experiment, you guys could try it too, and if your phone doesn't hit the ground, you're breaking new ground, bro. Like you're you're literally changing the way that we understand the universe. Like science isn't there to say this that God doesn't exist or that this or that doesn't exist. Because that's, that's not where science's place at, is at. Most scientists, in fact, sorry for my awkward cadence, you guys. Most scientists, in fact, like, they, they, they're, they're theists. They believe in God. Okay? Like, I believe in God. You know? And, and I don't think that science is going to disprove God one day. Because if you listen to the, the, the what science has revealed to us, and even the very beginnings of the Bible, and I'm not even a big fan of the Bible, okay? Um, they match up. Okay, they match up. It almost sounds to me like somebody tried to explain the Big Bang Theory to a bunch of people who just, like, refused to accept. They just had so many questions. Like, I don't know how to say it. Imagine that you have a child in the car with you. Or somebody who's of moderate intelligence. I hate to say that. But moderate intelligence. And you try to explain the Big Bang Theory and the universe and the cosmic web and the Higgs boson and all this shit. You're trying to explain all this shit to this person. Gravity waves, black holes, brown doors, white doors, blue doors. All this shit that you're trying to explain to this person. And he goes, well, who put the blue dwarf there? And you, if you say, oh, it was just formed from a giant ball of gas that, you know, eventually caught fire and it created, you know, fusion inside the core of the star. And that's why we have a sun. And that's what all the stars are in the sky. If they keep saying, hey, somebody put that there, eventually you're going to be like, yeah, somebody put that there. You're going to explain that in a way that they can understand. And that's kind of how I almost interpret it. But at the same time, it's like 2,000 years ago. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm too busy being a human, a simple, simple human being here and focusing on my own understanding of the universe. Because realistically, a civilization that has been, been around for fucking centuries, centuries millennia, uh, many hundreds of thousands of millennia, um, they're going to have that technology. They're going to have... This, this level of cognitive ability that we wouldn't have at that time. So, I mean, it's not very hard to imagine that, you know, somebody was like, hey, the Big Bang, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, and somebody was like, oh, I'm going to write this shit down. And poof, now we have this. But I don't know. That's that's like some weird, strange, <laughs> off-the-wall theory. Yeah, you jerk, I'm making a YouTube video. Anyway, um, but that's... 
that's the main thing I wanted to like really point to here is that a lot of people who are conservatives, who are anti anti climate change, they don't believe in climate change, who uh, think that every politician is dirty, every single one of them. Um, a lot of these people don't understand science, and they don't understand people. Okay, one thing that I do understand is people. I understand, you know, some of the some of the people on the right, like. Like, I've heard some, some horror stories from people on the right before, and what they lost, and I'm like, how the fuck can you vote, how the fuck can you vote for somebody like Donald Trump when, you know, you just lost all that shit? The Republicans support him. I mean, that's, that's how we wound up with freaking the situation we were in. We, we elected Barack Obama because he was supposed to be different, okay? And he wasn't. I hate to say it, he wasn't as different as we were hoping. But he was the first one. He was the first president elected. Literally, after with the Muslim name, okay, Barack Hussein Obama. That is a Muslim name. I don't care what anybody says, okay, it is. But he was still elected because both sides haven't changed as much as we think they have, okay? We do have our fringes on, on each side, but really on the right. Let's keep shit real. Let's stop being PC. You guys have the... You don't hear about liberals walking in the freaking... Uh, churches and all this other shit and just shooting people up because they're in they're in their country usually it's something personal if, if a liberal if, if a democrat a liberal a gay guy whatever if they go out and hurt somebody like that it's because it's personal okay Peek-a-boo. it's personal um with conservatives they don't have to know you to kill you as a matter of fact it makes it easier to fucking blow you away and that's that's what's truly disturbing but anyway i digress um, we need a movement in this country to understand science and cognitive thought and intellectuality, what it means to be able to use your fucking brain, because guess what? Our brains got us freaking PCs, our brains got us cell phones, our brains got us everything that we got. Cognitive ability and the weight and the ability to, to, really scrutinize a situation or study and observe something and make that knowledge applicable to saving lives, that's amazing. That's probably one of the biggest accomplishments that we have as human beings, okay? Aside from all the art that we have out there. I've become a big fan of art over the past two years. Past year and a half, actually. Past year, to be completely honest. with Nah, year and a half. I always liked art now. I'm, like, really big into art. But anyway, I digress. This is what we need. We need to pull our heads out of our asses, okay? Because, realistically, science is the answer to the vast majority of the shit, the the ailments we have. Uh, Even with these people who hate on the Young Turks, uh, even with uh, all this shit that's going on with, you know, climate change right now, science is is the answer, okay? Not the enemy. If you want more money in your pocket... Guess what will do that? Technology. Science. And everybody say, oh yeah, well, what about automated robots? Yeah, that's going to take some jobs, dude. But guess what? When you have a new industry that's created out of nothing, out of thin air, and it takes off to the point to where hundreds of millions of people are being fucking hired to sustain that industry, that is that is literally, I don't want to get all like mushy and patriotic on you guys, but that's what America's about. It's about either already being here or coming here and making something new okay and sharing it with everybody that's what it is and more importantly being american like if we want to really say being american means being christian which i think is bullshit but if you believe that i want to say dude being christian means that you're supposed to share your love okay like do you do you disagree with that I mean, if you really, if you really are a Bible thumping Christian, I think this: God is love, self is everything else, right? If you ever hear salvation is selfish, somebody's leading you down the wrong path. That's all there is to it. Um, selflessness is a guaranteed uh, one-way ticket to salvation. Okay, that's how I feel about it, and I'm not very religious, so. I don't know what else to say. Anyway, this video's gone long enough, 15 minutes. Um, this is really just a shit post for you guys, and I hate to say it like that, but it really is. Like, I, ha- I haven't really studied anything up on this. 
pretty soon here, I think I'm going to make another channel for Nez's RE, you guys. And if you actually watch these videos completely, um, some of my longtime subscribers that I know do you like, you know, actually still watch these videos. If they're interesting enough, I, I kind of understand that. But it's like, if you guys are interested in watching this on its own channel and having some more resources put into it, when I say more resources, I mean like borderline investigating investigative journalism, like TYT status, like borderline that shit, okay? Um, leave a comment, okay? Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share it. Freaking Nez's RE can be its own channel, and it could be more than just me in my room talking. Like, we can actually start uh, putting a few dollars toward uh, creating a channel that has like really solid facts. That's what I want, and this is what I want Nez's RE to be eventually. Something based on the Vlog Brothers. Have you ever seen the Vlog Brothers? I want it to be like a solo version of the Vlog Brothers, but not so. Blah, 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 blah. I love the vlog, vlog Brothers, by the way. Not so blah, 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 but more like a, a let's sit down and have a conversation version of it. Does that make sense? Let's talk. Listen to me for a second. Leave a comment. And then let's move forward. Let's stop fucking bashing each other. Because right now our fucking country's on fire. People are walking around with Confederate flags, with fucking... Blue Lives Matter flags, they're calling the BLM and freaking DAPL prote water protectors, they're calling those guys fucking terrorists. That's propaganda 101, man. And I've been trying to dig up shit on that. Like, I really want to do, like, a fake news channel to where I just share all the lies you Republicans, you conservative fucking troll bots have been putting out there, dude. You are so lucky Facebook is taking that shit down. Really lucky, because that's evidence, dude. Like, everybody else is like, oh, well, at least they're taking it down. I'm like, dude, that's evidence. Let it stay there. You know, that's proof. We need, that needs to go into history books. How many fucking articles were on Facebook convincing people uh, that white people are being murdered everywhere and this, that, and the other. This this is a, a, a not a, a 1940s, Nazi-level fucking coup d'etat of our fucking government. And it's not fucking Trump who's doing it. It's the wealthy in this country. Because they didn't trust Trump for a long time. But now they see they can throw him a few peanuts and he'll play ball. So they're happy with Trump. Because um, that, hatred, that hatred for Trump on both sides was genuine. And I think that that's what got him elected. Because I couldn't even vote for Hillary, dude. Nobody, nobody hated Hillary more than freaking the liberals and the batshit crazy conservatives who hated her because they believed Benghazi was a real deal. Okay, Trump Trump kills 29 people, and they don't say shit, okay, including a Marine. Benghazi, four people died during the freaking military, not even a military raid, just some assholes who attacked, like, literally just attacked these, this, this, uh, embassy, and it's like, <laughs> they get everybody out but four people, and the Republican Party fucking flips the fuck out, and they're the ones who, de who defunded the embassy's uh, security. So it's like, if they had better security, they might have been able to fend those guys off by themselves, but the Republicans stopped that from happening. But they don't mention that part. But what they do say is like, oh, why didn't you make a phone call and send somebody over fucking halfway across the world? Dude, they were there because it was American soil and they were protecting our fucking country. If you think Benghazi is a scandal, you don't understand how politics works, how diplomacy works, and the fact that Americans die for this country, okay, we're going to talk about why I didn't learn list next time, so like and subscribe, okay, it's Nezrak, hope you guys enjoyed this video, deuces.